or we can blot the data according to different groups or treatments or category. In this case, it's the differences between the four leg length and also the high leg length. So to make a box plot is quite easy. So the first thing you have to do is to know how many data points in your data set. In this case, you have 12 data. Okay, and the data that we use is a scale data. So the first thing is to arrange the data. So order the data from the smallest value to the largest value. After that, find the medium. So there's a formula you can use. Okay, so it's n for to look for medium that is equal to n plus 1 divided by 2. So it's 13 divided by 2, so it's 6.5. Position 6.5. So we just count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 6.5 is somewhere here. Okay. So the medium is value between the value number 6 and 7. So we need to calculate the medium. So it's equal to 6 plus 7 divided by 2. So it's 6.5. So our medium is 6.5, the value. Then after that, we need to look for the first quartile and the third quartile. For the first quartile, we can know we already see that the, the medium, so in this case, is here. Okay. So it's a position 3.5, so it's a value between 5 and 6. Or if you want to calculate, you can do use a formula as well. So it's 6, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 plus 1 divide by 2, so it's 3.5, so it's here. So we need to calculate the first quartile. In this case, is 5 plus 6 divided by 2 is 5.5. So our first quartile is 5.5, the value. Then for the third quartile, you can do the same thing. So we have the same amount of data point here. So it's 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it's 6 plus 1 divided by 2, so it's 3.5. So the third quartile value is at the position 3.5. And then we need to calculate the value of the third quartile. So it's 7 plus 7 divided by 2. So it's 14 divided by 2, so it's, the value is 7. So after you have done this, we need to draw a block line. So we need to make a line an axis that with a range of uh, all values. So in this case, our smallest value is 5, largest is 8. So we just put all the value here. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Okay. After that, we need to mark the first and the third quartile and also the medium. So our medium is 6.5. So usually the medium line is a bit longer. And after that, we have the first quartile, 5.5, which is somewhere here. You also have a third quartile, which is 7, here. Okay. After we have marked them, then we need to make a box. Okay, we did finish half of this box plot. So the next step is to find the inner quartile range. So it's a third quartile, so it's equal to 7. So this is the third quartile minus the first quartile, 5.5 is equal to 1.5. Okay. Then we need to identify the value that fall below the value of the 1.5 in the quartile range from the first quartile. Okay, so it's smallest than the this value, and also the value that's largest, okay, is greater uh, than the third quartile in 1.5 interquartile range. So we need to calculate the interquartile range. So for interquartile range is 1.5 multiplied by the value. So the value just now is also 1.5. So in this case, our value is first quartile minus 1.5 multiplied by 1.5 is 2.25. So is the first quartile is the value is 5.5, so it's 5.5 minus 2.25, so it's equal to 3.25. Okay. 
So after we have done this, then we need to check the smallest value in our data set. If there's a value smaller than 3.25, then we need to plot immediately. So I'm just plot a circle, the value. So in this case, we don't have anything. If you have a number two, let's say, then we need to plot this value first. Okay. And then just make a circle. Okay. For example. If you don't have any outlier, then you don't have to plot it. Okay. Similarly, for the value that is outside of the in the quarter 1.5 in the quarter range, okay, it's greater than the quarter three, so you can calculate as well. So in this case, quarter three is seven plus 1.5 multiplied by 1.5 is 2.25, so it's equal to 9.25. So if there is any value in your data set is larger than 9.25, then you need to plot it as an outlier. Okay, if you don't have any value, then you don't have to do anything. So after that, we need to mark it. Okay, if there's outlier, we have to mark them. If not, then we just leave it. Then we need to find the smallest and the largest value and then mark them on the plot line. So this need to be the largest and the smallest value after we exclude the outlier. So if you have a number two here, so the smallest value that you need to plot uh, along uh, in the post plot is not the number two because you already mark it as an outlier and we should plot the five. Okay. If there's no outlier, then the smallest value is what you see in your data set. So in this case it's five. So it's just mark it and the largest is eight. If there's a value that is larger than the 1.5 in the quarter in the quarter range from the third quarter, which you have marked them, then you need to sit for the second largest value. So in this case we don't have an outlier. So we need to plot the largest value which is eight. So we just mark it and then just make a line to connect the box. Okay, so this is how we make a box block.